Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Phoenix, Arizona today at Ping headquarters. I've got Marty Jerkson with me. Marty, how's it going? Great, Chris. Happy to be with you today. Yeah, good to see you. Exciting time. We're talking about brand new G410, new product launch. Right now, we're going to specifically talk about the drivers. And G410 stepping into some pretty big shoes because G400 was obviously a huge success for you guys. Yeah, G400's done great. And, and really looking at the past decade of what we've done in drivers is, pr is pretty fun to, to take a moment to look back. We've been able through aerodynamics to reduce our drag coefficient of the driver by 50% in the last decade so you can swing it faster. Uh, we've improved the moment of inertia substantially 20-25% gains which scales non-linearly to the golfer. So a 20% reduction increase in MOI will produce a 40 or 50% reduction stat area. So that's a lot of fun. So with the G410, we're building upon those advancements and unlocking an entire, uh, entirely new custom element for the player for, for us in a way that doesn't, we don't have to take any steps backwards from all the gains we've had in our driver technology. Yeah, and it's amazing looking at the new product uh, with the technology going on, how much more customization is going to be available for players in these new models, starting with, you know, what we talked about is custom CG. Talk a little bit about that if you could. Yeah, so with the G410 driver, we're going basically from two-dimensional fitting. So we've always had our, our sleeve the last uh, eight years or so to fine-tune your vertical trajectory. With the G410, what we're looking at here in the plus model, we have a 16 gram high density tungsten weight that's placed along the border of the driver, so right at the extreme boundary. So in doing that, we can keep the moment of inertia really high. We don't have to take a step backwards. And that allows you to customize the center of gravity to fine tune your horizontal trajectory. So we're basically going from two dimensional custom fitting to three-dimensional. So now you can dial in your left-right trajectory. You can do that. The benefit to the player is now that they, they can minimize curve on the golf ball. So when you minimize curve, this the modern-day ball and the modern-day driving, if you can hit your driver straighter, you're going to get more efficiency out of the flight and hit it further. So you get that benefit. Or there's a lot of golfers out there that will fight you know, a, a, a miss one to one side of the course or the other. A lot of golfers out there fight that flare to the right uh, for a right-handed player. So for them, we have the draw, uh, influence, custom CG position. Or for, uh, you know, it may be a better player that doesn't want to miss to the left, we have the fade position. And so you can use that to minimize curve or eliminate one side of the golf course without sacrificing any of the gains we've had in moment of inertia. And I know that was the real challenge because a lot of times in, you know, other models of drivers, when you have sort of movable weights, if you go to an extreme, you do lose that moment of inertia. And as you mentioned, this is even more forgiving with the weight in the draw or fade setting than G400 was. Yeah, I mean, at, at Ping, we always talk about it, that we won't come out with something if, if we have to take a step backwards in development. So that was right, you, you kind of nailed that was right at the heart of our design and manufacturing challenge. Very, very hard to put that geometry that we have here that receives that high density tungsten weight right to the boundary and perimeter of the driver. It's never been done before in golf. All of the, you know, uh, custom weighting positions have been a little more, you know, as you mentioned, more forward, and that comes with a pretty big sacrifice or a real big sacrifice to how forgiving the driver is. So what we try to do, and I think we're building upon that reputation in driver technology, is that you can get long and straight at the same time. You can get low spin and high inertia at the same time. All these things that you know, a lot of golfers, the golf community thinks that y there's a trade-off with, we can do both simultaneously, and that's really at the heart of, uh, it, of innovation. And also, further enabling even more customization is the fact that you're introducing a new adjustable hosel in this series. Yeah, so a big thing at G410 is just bigger fitting levers. So we got custom CG to tune in your left, right. And yes, we did develop a new hosel, a trajectory tuning hosel, that unlocks more loft change. So now you can go uh, five, in the five primary settings, you can go up to one and a half degrees more loft or one and a half degrees of de-loft without increasing the diameter, size, or weight of the sleeve. So we keep it aerodynamically efficient and efficient for the center of gravity and mass properties of the head 
again, a pretty big challenge for us to get a little more tilt angle and adjustment built into it. Um, now with this new uh, sleeve, uh, which is an upgraded sleeve that, uh, you know, if you have an existing driver, uh, you'll need to uh, driver shaft. Uh, the new sleeve is only, the G410 sleeve is brand new, so it's, it, it's compatible with the G410 driver only. It also has three settings, if you take it apart, that make, can make your driver a little flatter. So we have a flat zone, which could be good for some players to uh, help with their centeredness of contact. Uh, in working with a fitter, you can kind of dial in your centeredness of impact for better efficiency. Uh, and then for some players, that flat setting can help bias the trajectory a little more to the right for a right-handed player. So that's a little more of the nuance fitting uh, situation, but overall, we really enjoying having a more loft change for bigger, uh, big, bigger trajectory lever. Yeah, outstanding. And from a profile standpoint, a little bit bigger than G400, not quite as big as G400 Max. Uh, talk a little bit about the decision you know, and how you landed on this size in terms of the profile. Yeah, so, uh, you know, with the G400, a lot of people like that little smaller compact shape. And with the G400 Max, some people are still, boy, they, you know, they enjoy the benefits of the inertia, but the shape's a little too big. So this is indeed size, kind of from a top-down profile standpoint, right in between the G400 and the G400 Max. And that was part of actually us branding it plus, because it's a little bigger than the G400, and it has all the additional... Uh, custom features to it. Yeah, so the, the size I think is going to have a, a broad appeal uh, to those that like the more compact shape, but we stretched out a little bit to help us give us some inertia gains. And the MOI is 1% higher on the G410 plus than the G400, even with unlocking the ability to fine tune your, uh, fine -tune your left right ball flight with the custom CG. Gotcha. And you know, players will immediately <coughs> notice the turbulators on top again. But you've made some changes with Dragonfly. Yeah, so the Dragonfly technology is, is built in and embedded underneath the crown, or we kind of look at it, it's kind of like the hood of a car. And so that was a little bit of the inspiration for the design language of the crown. It has some creases built in that's much like the creases in the hood of a car, which are there for, uh, to, so you can make it light but strong and fine tune the sound of the driver. So. The creases that are on the crown, uh, A, they give you a little subtle cue for alignment, kind of like our racing stripe technology in the past, but they also stiffen the crown just like the Dragonfly technology. So it is embed the Dragonfly original patterns embedded underneath, but we have the new creasing on the crown, it's still manufacturing it down to basically three dollar bills thin is the wall thickness of the driver crown. Wow. And then the turbulators actually are, uh, have been advanced from an uh, efficiency standpoint. So you, I think players will notice out there that they start a little lower in the front, then climb to an apex point that's a little further back. So we have continued to push the envelope there with our wind tunnel testing and our simulations to bring in more advancements to the efficiency. So how effective the turbulators are at reducing drag, which gives you more club head speed, which turns into more distance. Yeah. And we've touched on this a little bit, but we'll go into more detail now. We've got the 410 Plus and the 410 SFT. SFT designed to really help that player who misses right-handed player, misses right, get the ball in play more often. Absolutely. So yeah, now with having the draw position in the Plus, that acts basically like what our SFTs of the past drivers have, have acted like from a center of gravity movement, a shot bend movement standpoint. That allowed us to take a look at the SFT and make it swing the ball flight even more. So the CG and the SFT, uh, which I'm holding here, is 50% more heel side than, uh, than it was previously. So instead of a tenth of an inch to the heel, now it's 0.15 or 150 thousandths of an inch to the heel. So it has even more influence on the shot bend. With the SFT, we also build these uh, at a standard swing weight that's two points lighter, so our standard's D1. Gotcha. So we're kind of leveraging that aspect of influencing uh, shot bend. And it's really fun to see players who've struggled with a, a fade their whole life hit this driver. <laughs> and the first time you see somebody hit a draw, you know, it's, it's, really, it's really fun to experience that. If you're a second swing customer, looking for more forgiveness, looking for more ball speed, Looking to enjoy the game a little bit more. G410 could be the driver for you. Of course, we'll take your old 
driver in on trade, get you in a new G410 in 2019, help you play better golf. Marty, we appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Chris.